Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. All right, after buying some more cards, and uh, Chun Li is trying to cheer me up. Good for him. Well, <laughs> what? Er, heavy. Phew, I'm so tired. Hi. Good morning, Banga. Oh, this? The truck broke down while I was shipping the new card packs. So I had to carry it by hand. Huh. Now, if I help, I'm gonna miss the test. But if I don't help, then I'll just feel like a jerk. So I'll help her. That's kind of you, but you'll be late for class. Don't you have a test today? I'll help you anyway. Bonga, thank you. You have a practical exam this afternoon. Well, I missed out on like 200 points, really. But if I am able to duel or deal enough damage, I should be fine. So I changed my deck around a little bit to have, well, a new deck, obviously. So a lot of it's gonna be themed on direct damage. Cards such as Ukazi, even Black Pendant. Catapult Turtle will be pretty good. Uh, let's see. Legul, Mystic Lamp, Jinzo number seven, Rainbow Flower, Cannon Soldier, Reflect Bounder. Some cards will obviously be helpful on their own. And Gravity Bind is good for like my weaker monsters to not be destroyed right away. And when it comes to Dark Snake Syndrome, it's good to make sure you have a means of recovering life points first so that you won't be hurt so badly. Wave Motion Cannon will do a lot if I keep it on the field very long. Disc Walla and Stealth Bird will obviously do their trick, as will Balloon Lizard if I keep it on the field long enough. So my deck is ready. I wonder if this guy will just use the same deck as before. Which in this case, I should still worry about Shinado. But if I got Mirror Force, I might be able to save my ass. Alright, let's see. You can take a look at your status over here. So, I need to do... Maybe 3,000? Perhaps? And this will obviously help, having Magic Cylinder as well as Stealth Bird. Let's see what that does. You can flip this card into face down defense position once per turn during your main phase. And this card is flipped summon successfully. Okay, so we'll just set it first, obviously. Meter Destruction. I can inflict 1,000 points of direct damage to my opponent's life points, but I cannot activate it if it's 3,000 or less. Luckily, the duel just started. Take a look at the status. Okay, so I dealt like 1,000, so that only gave me 37 points out of 300. I suppose he'll have means to recover life points, giving me a greater chance of, obviously, doing more direct damage. Ooh, Granadora. Okay, that allowed him to heal, which is really nice. And because it has 1,900 points of uh, attack power, that made it even better to use. I'm gonna stop, try to stop this monster from attacking. So let me use Swords Revealing Light. And let's see. Destroy one face-off attack position monster with the highest attack on the field. Well, that's a no-brainer. You know what? Heal yourself. I don't care. What are we at right now? 183 already! Jeez. Then I'll flip summon Stealth Bird. Do another 1,000 right off the hop. Activate its effect. And set it again. <coughs> Bless me. And I'll have Minor Goblin Official. That once he gets to 3,000 or lower... I can start doing gradual damage to him.
Alright, this'll help, too. I'm gonna use Rainbow Flower, so he can attack directly, even if there is a monster on the field. Alright, I feel like this deck is a little bit more cohesive compared to decks of the past. You know what? Heal yourself. At least I don't have to worry about any traps. Still got a little ways to go. Hopefully I can stop him before he brings in Shinado. Remember, that's the one card I'm concerned about. Ooh, Dark Room of Nightmare. So let me activate that. So, just by using Stealth Bird, he'll lose a thousand, but thanks to Dark Room of Nightmare's effect, he'll lose another 300. Watch. And because he's lower than 3,000, you can activate this card when your opponent's 3,000 points or less, inflict 500 points, direct damage your opponent's life points during each of his or her standby phases. And that will also stack with Dark Room of Nightmare. Actually, let me activate its effect right now. Let's see what that is. So Sangin, take care of it. If it's Nimble Manga, I'll be happy. Nope, that's a Forgiving Maiden. Well, I'm not too worried about it. If it goes into attack mode, I mean, there's nothing it can do. Okay, it's still enough for the examination. Finish the duel now. You're perfect. Oh, once you get to like that right amount, you automatically win. The dorm switch exam is finished. Wait for your results. Okay, I did much better. Like I actually got the good music. So I missed out on 200 points, but I got a perfect on my practical. That's a good way to bounce back. Since you cleared 25 time duels, you're now Calm Duelist. Due to your results, you can choose between raw yellow, slice or red. Okay, so I'm not good enough to go to Obelisk Blue yet. But it feels good to be back here in this room. Headmaster of Ron and Professor Sardar. Yeah, I already know about him. If you don't visit him for over a month, the old chap gets quite lonely. I'll remember that. By not visiting him for a full month. <laughs> Let me go back to my regular deck. I actually erase like the old ones, except for Static, because apparently Static cannot be replaced. Neither can Wayne Static. Rest in peace, good soul. I got mail again? This is not making me calm. Oh. Banga! Banga! I have to warn you! Don't challenge anyone in Obelisk Blue! Dr. Crowley gets really upset if you beat anyone in that dorm. If you keep beating the students in Obelisk Blue, he might want to get revenge! You're, uh, motivating me there, Cyrus. Let's see... Who should I duel? Who's around to duel? There's a lot of people, actually. Um... Let's try dueling Chaz. Hey, I'm a calm duelist. What have I got to worry about? Am I right? <laughs> Can you imagine, like, if you didn't do any time duels, they give you the title of anxious duelist? <laughs> Yeah, dark monsters. 
All right, my move. Ooh, what you got? Robin Zombie? Thought so. You're so predictable, Chaz. Too bad I can't just flip that. And then I'll do this. This. And then this. Pretty much a heavy play, I will admit. Decayed Commander. What does it do again? Let me take a look. When this card is normal summon success success eh, successfully, you can special summon one zombie tiger from your hand when this card is Okay, well, it didn't get to attack me, so I'm fine. Alright, I end my turn. And two can play at that game. I have some Robin of my own. Master Kionchi! Okay, that's actually a pretty good monster. And you had to get rid of one of your cards. Good. He's got nothing else. Ooh, Sasuke Samurai is real nice. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And I'll summon Dimensional Warrior? Yeah, that'll be a good choice. There, do some damage with his own monster. Just one card, and then he'll lose another card. Now I pretty much got him on the ropes. Oh, I got rid of his Snatch Steel! Oh, I got lucky there. That would have been so awkward if he used Snatch Steel on Master Kiyonshi to steal his own monster. Oh, car destruction. I don't think so. Because I know what you're trying to do. Your hand is awful. So you want to, like, dump it. There. I blocked your play. Power bond. Oh, if only I had barrel dragon and a uh, blowback dragon ready. That would have made my life a hell of a lot easier. Sadly, I'm gonna have to wait until I'm lucky enough to draw both of them. I don't think that's gonna happen. Because Chaz doesn't have that much time. He had two of those in the same hand? Oh, wow. Come on, Chaz, you're pretty much done for. Oh, jeez, one face down. I'm worried. That he somehow drew the one card he needed. Okay, that's not a mirror force. Something tells me I should still not bother to summon. Maybe set, but not summon. Oh, pot of greed. He's buying himself time. And he summons Nudoria. Dark Factory of Mass Production. Okay, he just destroyed his own monster doing that. Okay. I'm torn with this one. Let's see what this is. Uh... 
we'll go ahead and do that. Get rid of that new Doria. I still have a stronger monster, so I'm, I don't feel too bad about it. And I might be able to bring in my Jinzo next turn. Mystic Plasma Zone. And that's all he can do! Wait. 1800. This gets powered up to 1400. He survives by only 100 points. Jesus. Well then. I can still do some damage. He's right, I haven't finished him off yet. But his two Giga Gaga Gigos are back in the graveyard. Alright, well, since you got that, I'm gonna have to make Mystical Space Typhoon. Because I really don't like what you just set down right away. Hidden Soldier. Can we activate when your opponent summons or flip summons a monster? Special summon one dark monster level 4 lower from your hand. Okay, that's cool, I guess. You know what else is cooler? Me defeating Chaz. Right then and there. That was actually... A duel I had to hope that I didn't screw up. Who else is around here? Nobody knew. But, I would like to buy some new cards. Oh, wait a minute. This is new. Dragons in Flight. I do like dragons. And apparently this is now available again. Let's see. Let's load up on these. Buy two of these. I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's take a look at all the cards. Now we got a blue eyes toon dragon, if that matters, which it doesn't. That's a hell of a lot of dragons. We even got Lesser Dragon and Trihorn Dragon. Mikazukino Yaiba. Try saying that three times fast. Cobra Jar. I've heard of this. Alright, you flip, you place one poison snake token with 1200 attack and 1200 defense and attack or defense position on your side of the field. When the poison snake token is destroyed as a result of the battle, it will cause 500 points of direct damage to your opponent's life points. Oh, and it gives you, like, probably something to contribute. So that's pretty cool. Skilled Dark Magician. That's a good one, too. Each time you or your opponent activates one spell card, one, put one spell counter on this card with a maximum of three. Tribute this card with three spell counters on it to special summon one Dark Magician from your hand, deck, or graveyard. I, I might have mentioned this before. But the uh, skilled white magician allows you to do the same thing, but for Buster Blader. Alright, so before I call it a night, I'll duel Dimitri. Just for kicks and giggles, why not? I swear his eyes do look like Yami Yugi's. It's, it's, the resemblance is so uncanny. I get to go second two duels in a row. And this is all he does! A weird play! Let me do this then. And 
then I'll activate this, Delinquent Duo. Alright, so let's see what I got rid of. Jinzo and Red Eyes Black Chick. Uh, so we both drew Jinzo on turn one. That's hilarious. Let's see what you got face down. Oh, a mystical elf. Oh, that's right. Both monsters get removed from play. Like, I knew that was a thing, but I thought I was going to at least win that attack. I thought wrong. Legendary my ass! Oh my god. Why does the AI do this? Like, taking shortcuts. I say... As I summon Needlewar in attack mode. <laughs> oh, this is the worst duel ever. This is the best worst duel. Oh, well, at least I kept him from summoning a mid-level monster. Oh, graceful charity. Whoop-de-doo. Those were the two cards he just drew! Or at least two of the three cards he just drew, and he got rid of them right away! Torrential Tribute... He got rid of Torrential Tribute? What is this guy even planning? I don't know. But he's clearly not smart. set a trap. But you know what? I'm more worried about his traps. But even though he doesn't seem to have many good ones. Alright, I'll end my turn. set monster. This will catch up to me eventually. At least I can still use spells. At least I can still summon goblin attack force. So, what you got down there, buddy? Something useless? Useless enough. At this rate, I should not have any problems. And then I begin my journey to eventually go to Obelisk Blue. But it's going to take a fair amount more duels. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. It didn't matter what I summoned. As long as I actually summoned something else. And, well, it doesn't look good for you now. Before I end the episode, time to calm down in the form of time duels again. Number 25! Alright, Nudoria and Blowback Dragon. I got Call of the Haunted and once in my graveyard. Mystic Tomato! 
Mystic Tomato has only, what, 1,400 attack points. So don't attack Blowback Dragon with Mystic Tomato. That's suicide. Marie the Fallen One. As long as this card exists in your graveyard, increase your life points by 200 points during each of your standby phases. Well, that doesn't help me now. How the hell do I do enough damage to get rid of Blowback Dragon immediately? Wait a minute. I got an idea. Uh... What was my idea again? Oh, yes, I got it now. I think this is what I gotta do. Sacrifice New Doria to bring in Marie the Fallen One. So I think that's the plan. And I think Black Pennant's gotta be attached to it. Maybe Black Panther's gotta be attached to something else. So, I believe I would attach it to Nudoria. Yeah, so Black Pendant should go to Nudoria. That way, if I attack it, I don't just lose. doesn't do much do enough either. So I think I did it wrong somewhere. No, wait, never mind! Because it also comes with 500 points of damage. I forgot. That's why I did it in the first place. And boom. It's over. So, there might have to be some episodes where I'm only doing time duels, just to take a little break from it all. Because, you know, if I don't want the Let's Play to go forever, I gotta eventually do them. Alright, so I'm gonna stop here, and in the next part, why don't we continue on with the rest of this month? Goodbye, everyone.